Here are some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. So let's take it to the test. You can compare expressions using the test feature to get a true or false answer. I'll show you a few examples, so stick with me. Is the square root of 20 equivalent to two times the square root of five? Let's start with the control key. It activates the blue commands over the keys. So press control, square root, it's the pretty blue command over the square key, and 20. Hit the right arrow, press the equal sign. Now plug in the second expression, two, control, square root, five, and enter. There you have it, true. The square root of 20 is equivalent to two times the square root of five. Let's look at another example. I'm gonna go a little faster this time. Enter the first statement. Equals, and the second statement times 10 to the fourth. To get that, press 10 to the power of and four. Then enter. This time, the result is false. They're not equivalent. You can also use the test feature to check inequality statements. Let's start with a simple one. Enter negative eight. Now, press control and equals. This opens a menu where you can select the greater than symbol. Now, select the greater than symbol, then seven and enter. The result? False. Negative eight is not greater than seven. One more time. This one is a little more involved. Is the absolute value of 17 minus 25 greater than or equal to five? This time, start by pressing the math template key and select absolute value. Plug in 17 minus 25, then right arrow, control, and equals. Remember, that opens a menu where you can select the greater than or equal to sign. Then finish the statement and press enter. What's that result? The result is true. The absolute value of 17 minus 25 is greater than or equal to five. We've used this feature for some simple questions, but you can apply this strategy anytime you need to compare expressions or check inequalities. The tips and tricks document on this page has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. And we have a bunch more tips and tricks for test success videos, so check them out. And hey, good luck on that exam.